The long-awaited moment has finally arrived and Canva has delivered. Hold on to your curses, here we go! Welcome to your new home in Canva. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through every single thing you need to know concerning the new update and features that were announced during the just ended Canva Q 2024. So if you're new to this channel, look, subscribe to this channel. And if you're already liking the updates, I think it's also good to hit on the like button just to help this video do well. Let's dive straight into it. But the first thing you need to know is that this Canva Kids 2024 was themed as work redesigned and I feel like Canva really focused on the work aspect more this year. And even though they focus on work, I feel like they didn't drift from their mission which is to empower the world to design. Everything actually falls in line from how I saw it. And one thing I noticed is that Canva has actually paid attention to you know the three fundamental shifts that are actually shaping the way we work. The first one being the growth of of visual communication, proliferation of workplace tools, and the rapid rise of generative AI. To explain this better, the growth of visual communication now, almost everything has to do with design. And this means that the need for visual communication has become more. And that is one thing Canva noticed. The second thing they actually listed was the proliferation of workplace tools, which simply means that there's been a massive rise, okay, of so many work tools and all that, like Slack and Monday.com, you know, these kind of work list tools have been on the rise and Canva has noticed it as well. And the third thing they actually mentioned was the rapid rise of generative AI. We've realized that now AI is actually on the rise and AI creating stuff or generating creative stuff has also been on the rise lately. We've seen it, you know, we've seen it. And they noticed this and they just integrated everything into their platform, which is the Canva platform. So that this time around, you only need one platform to do almost anything you want to do concerning your work, you understand? And I feel like they actually did a very very good job when it comes to this. Now the second thing is the Canva Glow Up and with this I was so excited about this because Canva has actually given the entire Canva platform a fresh look and I really want us to take a look at how you can activate yours if you haven't. Okay so this is what you need to do if you're on your Canva platform and you're still using the old boring version if I can call it that way. What you need to do is with the for you over here Make sure you're clicking on it seven times, okay? And let me wear my headset to enjoy the whole feature. And you can see how it's looking. Wow. Okay, and if you move your mouse around, you can see that your mouse is the key. And when you click, this is the magic. Hmm. Wow. I'm watching the movie. Wow. This is amazing. Canva blew up. Wow. I think this is amazing. This is amazing. And that's the secret to it. Not everyone has discovered it. So make sure you are activating yours early because Canva actually made it clear that the first 1 million people would have early access if you discover the key. So make sure to do this. As soon as you see this video, just make sure you are doing yours. Okay. And um, yeah, so let's just run through to see what is new over here. This new sidebar Canva has added. And with this sidebar, you can easily start, you know, your designs or folders just to make it very easy for you to access. Okay. And everything actually looks new but the most interesting thing is the design speed so let's come to create a design okay and now it's a pop-up that comes up and we are just going to choose the instagram post just to see how it feels like okay so this is the new interface and i think this is beautiful so canva focus on giving you so much space when it comes to design so everything here has been refreshed into nice icons you can see over here now they're just icons and when you hover it just pops up okay 
making it very easy to run through it. And once you click on it, it stays. Okay, it stays there until you are done using it. Then you can just close it. Or once you are done, you can click on the next thing you need. It opens the next thing you need. It opens and if you want to close it, like I said, you just close it. And let's just see another thing. So once you add, let's say, for example, a new text, we have this action bar that comes up over here. Okay, and this is customized based on whatever you're working on. So if you add an image, for example, if I add this image over here, you can see the action bar customizes itself according to you know the edit we might need for an image okay if i click on the text it changes so this is one interesting thing we have over here and we would actually get used to it the more we design and you know use this don't worry i think as for now it's a new curve you'd have to get used to so uh, it's nothing you have to worry about I'm actually here for you, okay? So earlier on, I did mention that I felt Canva actually focused on the work aspect of things this particular year. And what made it so clear to me was when they went into detail on how they've improved the four business functions when it comes to Canva. So today we're going to start with just four core business functions, marketing, sales, HR, and creative. Let's just take a deeper look into these four business functions and see how Canva has improved them, okay? So the first one is marketing. So when it comes to marketing, Canva spoke about some interesting things they've done to improve the marketing aspects of your work. The first one, which is Bulk Create. Bulk Create is a feature that's really gonna help you speed up your marketing workflows and create on-brand designs at scale by taking a template and letting you generate hundreds of variants of it by just a touch of a button. So for example, if you want to switch out copy across a whole set of ads, all you need to do is fill a spreadsheet or a CSV with your messaging iterations, and Bulk Create instantly generates a whole campaign's worth of on-brand assets with that data. Bulk Create, it's a feature available in Canva already, and I've made a video actually on this already, but I feel like Canva is making it very clear on how bulk creates can help you do your work okay and i'm just going to link the video i created concerning this so that you can take advantage of bulk it because it's a very powerful feature available in canva and you need to know how to use and the second thing they mentioned is the ad tech integrations and this simply means that we are super excited to have partnered with the world's major ad platforms including google amazon and meta to help you make better ads easier. And the third thing they mention is the marketing work kit. A curated set of 30 best-in-class templates designed to support your everyday marketing tasks. This is going to help you in every step on the way what you need to do when it comes to marketing. There's a template there for you that can easily make you adjust things and you know, you just fly. You understand? <laughs> just fly. Now, with that being said, the next business function Canva focused on was sales. So with sales, I would want us to focus on what Canva had to say when it comes to the aspect of sales. As we know, sales professionals want to spend time closing deals and not perfecting decks. For a long time, Canva has been used across sales teams to help scale the materials. And now, we're taking it to the next level. Today, with the launch of Data Autofill, you can wow your clients by creating personalized, data-driven sales materials in an instant. We simply match data from a CRM source like Salesforce with the corresponding fields in your design, and Data Autofill instantly updates them to create bespoke pitches, expansion opportunities, or customer success materials quickly and at scale. Just to avoid you from doing so much work, this is going to make it very easy because a lot of salespeople don't really want to be focused in on these, you know, designs and all that. They just want to be able to do what they love, which is, you know, making sales and building trust with customers and clients and all that. So that is how Canva is going to improve the aspect of sales. Plus, they've also included a lot of sales kits to help a lot of sales professionals when it comes to presentations and all that. There are so many templates to help you in each step of the way. Okay, Canva has that for you. And the third thing under sales Canva spoke about is recording. You know, with recordings, you can narrate any presentation, video, or product demo. Record your entire screen and add voiceovers to your designs. Conflicting schedules and time zones are no longer an obstacle when you can reach customers exactly where, when, and how they like. 
And guess what? You do not have to wonder whether your proposals have been opened, read, or shared. Our insights and analytics feature provides all the information within Canva, so you know exactly how to optimize your content and manage your opportunities to seal the deal. If you can do all of this in Canva, instead of three apps, you would only need one app now. And the third thing under sales is the sales work kit, which simply means that a lot of templates have been provided, okay, and apps have been provided that can make your sales activities fun and easier when it comes to Canva. So this is what Canva spoke about when it comes to sales. So now let's move on to the next business function or the next floor. That's how they actually portrayed it during the Canva Create 2024. So, so then they said to make the logo pop. Right, but what does that mean? Just make it bigger. Oh. Papyrus walks into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve your type here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good times new Roman roll. Helpetica. Ariel, career new. Oh, Sam. the client approved the concept. Fantastic, thank you. With some small changes. How, how small? Wingdings. <laughs> Loving the color palette team. Approved. Let's look at HR and let's see how Canva is trying to make things better when it comes to HR. So under HR, Canva introduced new features and new updates. And the first one is being able to create a centralized base for your employees. This is exactly why we're so delighted to share a redesigned Canva experience a new way to bring all of your team's communication and information together all in one place. Think of it as your very own centralized knowledge base. In our team's Canva space, every employee can quickly find important resources, the right internal templates, or catch up on the latest news. Okay, so you know with HR, they are always responsible for training employees, giving them updated uh, information and all of those things. So Canva has now made it very easy to have your centralized knowledge base so that when you get to have maybe a new employee, it's very easy to onboard them and to train them. Everything would be in Canva, okay, to make it easier for them. The second thing is Canva courses. Gone are the days of boring mandatory training. Now, you can create engaging courses and assign them to your team. Choose from a presentation, whiteboard, or video, or utilize your existing content. Then, prepare them as a set of sequenced learning materials. Whether you're onboarding new starters or helping people upskill, you can track your team's progress and keep everyone motivated to learn. The third thing they spoke about is the design accessibility tool. And with this, according to what I saw, I'm going to explain it based on what I saw. So basically it means that when you set this up and you have maybe your team working on a particular design, depending on what you have set up in terms of requirement for every design, while your team is making a design in Canva, you know, it just guides them on, on all of that. Okay, so that's what I saw. But I'll make sure I give you full information on that later on, okay. And the third thing, is the HR work kit. And um, with this, Canva has also integrated a lot of templates and apps, HR apps, to make working in Canva very easy, okay? So that you can also just control everything in one platform. And this is something Canva has done that I feel like, you know, Canva has actually done some good job over here. Now let's move on to the creative aspect of business. What has Canva done? The first thing they spoke about was the logo replace feature. So with this, let's assume you have your logos and things in Canva and maybe you've just undergone some rebrand. Canva has made it very easy to change logos across all your designs very, very easy, just with a couple of clicks, okay? And this is one feature I would look in deeper, okay? So there should be a video on how to get this done. The second thing we spoke about was Canva coming together with Affinity. And with this, there was an interesting statement that caught my mind, and I just want you to hear it out. We've got so many big plans to make Affinity and Canva work more seamlessly together. Together, we are redesigning work for creative teams. So what this meant to me is that in the future, we are actually going to see interesting things happening in Canva and that Canva is really going to be more powerful than what we even see now. Okay, so with this, please 
keep your eyes glued to Canva and let nobody deceive you that Canva is not a good tool. Canva is a very powerful tool and looking at what's about to happen, minds are going to be blown. Now, the last announcement Canva made that I felt was very, very, very interesting was the announcement of Canva Enterprise. And we're thrilled to officially unveil Canva Enterprise. <laughs> We've been working very closely with business leaders to craft our newest offering that empowers your whole organization to design. I feel like once they can, you know, merge or make Canva one of their main tools, it's going to actually make it very easy for them to, you know, to get things running in terms of design and marketing material, sales, everything they can be able to have it deployed in the organization and it should be fun it should be fine so these are some of the things but the last thing was roger actually performed and he gave a very beautiful performance which i want us to take a look at So with that being said, this video is just a run through of all the updating features that were announced in the just ended Canva kit, okay? And I want you to know that detailed tutorials will be coming soon so that we can be able to integrate some of these features and these updates into our work, okay? And um, just so we can also get used to the new Canva interface. It's going to take a while for some of us to get used to it, but don't worry, I'm here for you. And um, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like this video if you found this video helpful. The name is Benjamin. Always remember, there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.